Um, Carmen, could you tell me just a little bit? I know I read over your story and everything, and it, it was incredibly fascinating, but I want to hear it from you. Um, the glowing green eyes that you saw, mm -hmm. tell me more about that and, and how that happened and where that happened. Yeah, so um, it's something that uh, I, 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 it always stuck with me. Um, it's too bad that it's such a long time ago because I'm sure I'm, I'm maybe missing details or like what did we say to each other? All I remember is that we screamed at that moment and we went downstairs. But, so okay, uh, a while ago, how, how old were you? I was 11. 11, oh, okay. And I'm uh, almost 28 now. Okay. And uh, so I was playing at my friend's house and uh, in her room, which was in the attic. Um, and I played there every week. Um, nothing strange ever happened. Then, um, so this one time, my uh, her mother called from downstairs that my mother was there to pick me up. And we stood in front of the mirror, which was uh, just next to the door. Mm -hmm. And between the door and the mirror was the light switch. So we stood in front of the mirror. I switched off the lights and then like immediately the, the whole room went pitch black i think it was winter because mm -hmm. it was dark um and between us in the mirror we saw these two green yeah i think it was eyes i don't know if it were eyes but it looked like eyes and like the typical thing you see in cartoons when they show an alien sure sure yeah i mean i it's something that i'm um, if you would tell me like there are uh, green men walking around, I wouldn't believe it, but mm -hmm. the eyes really looked like that. And they were uh, quite big, like bigger than normal eyes. They were um, fluorescent green and they were not glowing like there was light coming off of it. Mm -hmm. They were just very visible in the dark. So that's why I call it glowing because you could see them. Okay, interesting. And, um, yeah, we screamed at the same time and we ran downstairs. Mm -hmm. Um, I do remember like we, we were trying to tell our moms, but they were just brushing it off. They did not pay any attention to sure, it. Sure, sure. As, as moms would, right? Yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine like you don't immediately believe your child when they say, I've seen alien eyes. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. so, so, so when you, um, this mirror that was up in the attic, first of all, um, I know a lot of times people have a hard time with basements and attics. That That is the one thing that people have the hardest time with in a mm -hmm. house. Um, and your friend's room was in the attic. Mm -hmm. So this mirror, was it a specific mirror? Like, did it have any special qualities or properties to it? Was it old? Was it? I don't think it was very old. I remember, I think I remember it was round. Okay. And it was above her um, a, a little uh, cupboard where okay. she had some nail polish and stuff like that. Okay. It was on the wall. So and it was something that she probably used that. every day then. Yeah. Yeah. And I was there every week, maybe more than once a week. So, um, and I never experienced anything strange there. So it was so weird. And the weirdest thing was that we saw it at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the we fact that you both well. saw it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's really interesting. And did you hear anything at all? No, we did not hear anything, no. So you just saw the eyes glowing. Yeah, and they were right between us because I was thinking later on, like maybe there was something on the wall behind us, but no, there wasn't. I, I had been there all day and there were no lights or anything. It also did not look like normal lights. It, it was really right between us, like floating mm -hmm. and bright green. I, I do not have any explanation for did, it. Did you have a sense or a feeling that somebody was looking at you, like even prior to this? Did it feel like something was watching? No, I don't think so. No. Okay. But it was our interpretation at that moment that, that they were eyes. But right. you never know what, what they were. Right. So going from that, have you ever had any kind of paranormal encounters such as this or even before or after this incident um well uh yeah, the only thing that I, i'm not sure if it is paranormal maybe it's scientifically uh, explainable but it felt so real was when i was older like um from when i was 18 i started to have sleep paralysis 
and which meant that I had hallucinations uh, in my sleep. And it felt, I, I was looking into my room and I really saw like weird insects and stuff like that. And sometimes also sh shadow, shadow people. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. learned that they are called that. Um, and I would wake up very quickly and then realize it was not real. But then uh, once when I was like 22, I think, I was in my room and I was, well, I think I was really awake um, and I was looking into my room and I was already so tired of this sleep paralysis <laughs> bullshit. It just messed with my head so much. And, but this time it was actually the most real, I, I, yeah, well, maybe not the most real, but it was really weird because I saw a man standing uh, at my, um, uh, the, the end of my bed hmm. and he was really big and it was, it, it was he was all black like a shadow but mm -hmm. it, it looked very 3d and very real and he was wearing a hat and that's all i saw but the strange thing is that i wasn't even very scared i was looking at it and i was like no not again and i just <laughs> turned around like no i'm going to sleep I <laughs> sure you, you know i i think there's a lot of people out there who will relate to this because there's mm -hmm. a lot of people who have these experiences with sleep paralysis. And I know science will say that sleep paralysis is um, just a part of the brain that's, it's like it's, it's like it makes the body completely numb. So it's like paralyzed and you can't move, but mm -hmm. you're consciously awake. So it's almost like you're sleeping, but awake. And then what that does is that causes the hallucinations. But the one thing that I, I find really interesting is that you're not alone with the story about the man. What kind of hat was he wearing? Um, it was like, um, uh, uh, yeah, um, it was, it was not very high. It mm -hmm. was like until here. And then mm -hmm. it had a white, uh, a brim. white brim. To yeah. it. Okay. So there are, and, the... and, and, and like something like, a, a, yeah, it sounds so strange, but it looked like a cape or a, cape. Or a long mm -hmm. coat. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're you're definitely not alone, and that's what I find really interesting is that even though science will say that you are hallucinating, when we start looking at these stories, we've had other stories before. People have um, told me personally, and in videos just like this, they've said they have seen uh, like a shadow type male figure with a top hat. They always ex explain it as a top hat, but that's the same thing. It's just like a hat that mm -hmm. kind of like pops up and then has a, a large brim around it. Um, they always explain that some will say that there's a cape and I think that why is it that science is not saying they, they, science hates looking at that stuff. They don't want to put those mm -hmm. pieces together um, because yeah. then that that proves some validity to the claim and it validates that they did see something similar and that's something that probably does exist. But there's a lot of people who have experienced this. So I just wanted to let you know mm -hmm. there's a ton of people. Yeah, so it was like, um, I think two years later, mm -hmm. I was in another home and I was um, uh, watching the Netflix documentary. Sorry, my phone just uh, no, you're fine. put in on airplane mode. Um, mm -hmm. I was in a, a new house and I was watching the Netflix documentary, The Nightmare. Okay. I don't know if you've seen it. I have not seen that, but I will take a look yeah, at that and watch it. It's about um, sleep paralysis, and at first it was just like, oh, interesting, this is something known. And then at one point they they talked about the headman, and I just became so scared mm -hmm. because I was like, it must be real. I've seen him, and he was so. It was mean. He was really in my room. I mean, it can also mean that it's something our brain makes up, but it's sure. just very very strange, and that made me so scared. And then I had a bit more. Um, I, I had a few weeks or months, I think, of, of very bad sleep paralysis. Because I think if you're scared of it, it, um, it becomes worse. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. And then at some point, I was like, no, I, I'm not going to let this take over my, my life and my um, sleep. And that helped, actually. I'm not sure how. but And I still have it sometimes, but now it's just like insects and not as scary as a man in your room. <laughs> Now, when you say insects, have you ever experienced um, really large spiders? Yeah. Yeah. Well, not really large, I think. Just, I, I'm scared of spiders, so any spider mm -hmm. is scary <laughs> for me. 
um, but also uh, insects that I don't think exist or I haven't mm -hmm. seen. The first one I saw, mm -hmm. well, it was actually kind of a large spider. It was really strange. I was laying in bed and then at the end of the wall, I saw like a bright green spider mm -hmm. and it was like kind of floating or it was on a string. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It was um, turning around with his legs slowly. Like <laughs> it's the weird really? thing. Um, yeah. Did it have and the same? Think... Did it have the same look as a spider, or did it kind of take on some different features? Because some people have said, um, and I, you know, I, I myself have experienced these kind of things. I've experienced sleep paralysis. Um, I've experienced uh, seeing entities. I've also experienced seeing insects as well too. So that's why I know yeah. what you're going through at this point. Um, I've seen spiders that are very large like really big oh, no, it, yeah it was not that large um, it was more like this okay i think okay yeah. and then i know it's i've also had <laughs> i've also had people who have seen spiders that kind of look like crabs so it's kind of like a mixture oh. between a crab and a spider hmm, no i haven't seen that i think but i think what's interesting though is that we're talking about this um phenomenon and we're sharing these stories and they're all very similar. Mm -hmm. So the similarities in it, there has to be some type of validation that we can all receive to say that we are experiencing something that is of truth in a way, yeah. something that is real and does exist. And I don't know what sleep paralysis does for us. I don't know if we can see into the spirit world, we can see into another dimension. I don't know what we're looking at when we have that sleep paralysis, but I know it's incredibly scary. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned that you had it a lot. Yeah. So is that something mm -hmm. that comes and goes for you? And when it comes up, it kind of like, you have maybe a couple nights of it, or is it something that just stays consistent for you? Mm, yeah, it comes and goes. And I, I've had periods where it was like, pretty much every night and mm -hmm. right now um it's uh is um uh, incidental what's the word mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just sometimes mm -hmm. um uh, and it's not that scary anymore for me i think but you never know it can come back like it's been almost 10 years now i realize mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. and um yeah I've, I've also like in my previous home i lived in um i slept in um uh, a, like uh, a top bed. Okay. Yep. Um, and uh, and I had it there uh, many times that I would wake up uh, very scared, and I was like, uh, in in one minute I would be down uh, down the ladder and at my light switch at the other side of the room to mm -hmm. turn on the lights, and I, I still don't know how I did that <laughs> because you couldn't even you could just sit up straight, but uh, in the bed. So it's really strange what, what happens in your unconsciousness. It is. Um, it is very yeah. strange. It is very strange. Yeah, and, and they can say, like, um, uh, it's it's explainable by science, but I never feel like it's completely explained. I still wonder, yeah. like, why do we see the same men all over the world? And, um, and what's the use of it? I don't really understand. And also, for me, it's actually not paralysis because I can move. Really? So what's that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so when, when you have this sleep paralysis, essentially is what they call it, but you're able to actually move your body then. Mm -hmm. So when yeah, you move your I, body, are you in control of your body or is it? Well, usually it's, it's so quick mm -hmm. that it's just like, I'm like off in bed and then I'm like uh, looking around like what's happening or I mm -hmm. turn on the light switch mm -hmm. and then I'm awake like, oh, it's dead again. But this time with the headman it was like i was very conscious and i could just it was it's very strange thinking about it i was like sitting up saying like what the fuck is this <laughs> i'm going back to sleep <laughs> and and later on i thought it was very scary especially mm -hmm. when i heard that many people saw it yeah yeah so yeah i can move <laughs> so w when you saw the hat man mm -hmm. did you feel threatened at all No, it was more like he was just standing there. Mm -hmm. But in hindsight, um, 
I think, yeah, it does sound threatening, like mm. a man standing there in the middle of the night, all black and not doing anything. It, yeah, I don't know. It sounds threatening, but I don't know what this... But you didn't are. feel threatened. You just felt what is... You felt more inquisitive of it, right? Like, what is this? And Yeah, I, I felt annoyed. <laughs> annoyed. <laughs> it's do, really weird, but yeah. Do you usually fall as- back asleep after these experiences, or do you usually stay up? No, usually after. I fall asleep uh, pretty quickly. Okay. Only the time uh, after I saw the nightmare, the documentary, then mm-hmm. I was so scared. And I, I I think like for a few weeks, I, I didn't dare to go back to sleep. <laughs> but in the end, I was like, no, fuck this shit. <laughs> I will definitely <laughs> check out that documentary, The Nightmare. Yeah. I will definitely should, check that yeah. out. That is really interesting. Well, I got to yeah. say... What? Thank you for for doing this because it really does help all of these people who are watching and listening. They've had experiences mm-hmm. like yours, and they're not always open to share it. And no. so, when you come on and you talk about your story, and you almost give people a sense of comfort, knowing that there's other people who are experiencing the same exact thing. Um, they're seeing the same hat man they're seeing the same insects they're seeing the same they're they're having these experiences i think the glowing eyes in the mirror was amazing amazing Mm -hmm. because to me that's not explained away in sleep paralysis i mean because you guys were fully awake you just turned the lights off and those lights appeared to you and and not only that but your friend saw it Mm -hmm. too and so i I think that that is so it's just very intriguing to me and it's great that mm-hmm. you know you're you're able to come on here and let people know about that because that gives people comfort yeah. knowing that there's other people out there yeah and uh, for me i've always been curious about other people's experiences so i'm happy to share it and um like on one hand like for example the documentary really scared me mm-hmm. but on the other end um, none of my hallucinations ever really hurt me so maybe that's a good thing to know and also the headman he was just standing there so i don't yeah. think he will hurt anyone <laughs> maybe that's good to know yeah it seems like it's more